Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a add-on to my normal project panning for the year. I had mentioned to you guys I may or may not add another project pan. So I wanted to do a small one. I don't know what I'm going to call this one. I'm kind of feeling like it's my redemption project pan. I told you guys that I didn't do so well in my spring one because of the fact that I moved. So I want to kind of like catch up or make myself feel better that I didn't do so good on that one considering I should have had some products done. And I know I have a legit excuse, but still, it drove me nuts because I am the type that once I put myself on a specific goal, I need to like at least get close to it. So I have come up with five different products and these products are high end. They are something unique and different from what I normally bring to the table, some things I've never tried before and these will be brand new because I don't know how to use them so we're going to work around them in this project pan. But before I get into the products, if you're new to my channel, welcome to the family. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you do like it and let's get on with the products. So the first product that I want to share with you guys is one that I am wearing today and that is my Too Faced Sweet Peach Glow Palette. I had used the heck out of this during the winter time and I had mentioned back then that I wanted to try this out for the summertime to see if the bronzer would work. I am wearing the bronzer today. It is a very natural bronzer. It's not the typical bronzer I reach for during the summer, but I do want to use more of it. So this is what the bronzer looks like. I'm only gonna concentrate on the bronzer in this palette and my goal for this is to hit pan on it. I already have a really nice dip. I don't know if you guys can see that in the actual pan in here. I don't know. It might not show like that little divot that I have in there. But I do want to hit pan on this. Um, I'm going to give myself till the end of summer to use up these products. So with my summer project pan, the one, seasonal one that I do, when that one finishes, this is the one that this one is, is going to finish as well. Because these are more, mainly more summer products. So my goal is to hit pan on this. Smells so good. I am actually wearing the whole entire palette all up on my cheeks, so that is my goal in this. Um, it's very natural, so I think I may have to use a different bronzer on top just to kind of like layer it, just to make it seem like I have this glowy J-Lo thing going on. We'll see. I don't know. We'll play around with it and test it out. The next product that I want to share with you guys is something that I've had, but I don't ever reach for, never reached for it, never cared to reach for it, but I do want to use the whole thing up. This is a Bite Beauty lip liner or lip primer. I've never used a lip primer, nor have I ever thought I needed one, but I figured in the summertime is where it's super hot. Sometimes my um, face is melting, I'm sweating, I get that upper lip sweat thing going on, mustache sweat. So I figured this would be good. So uh, this is brand new. This is what how much I have. I have a picture of it showing you how much I have. My goal is to use the whole thing up and if I don't, at least the majority of it because I don't want this to go bad. It still smells good. I've never used one so I don't know how it's going to work but I thought the summer would be the best. So this is my next product that I do want to use. The following product is a gel liner. I am not one to wear gel liners often and here we are with a video that I am not wearing gel liner. But it seems like for a lot of my colorful looks, I do feel like a wing liner looks a lot more put together. So I want to hit pan or at least use as much as possible my Makeup Geek Immortal Gel Liner. This is the one that I do want to use. This is where I am at. I have a really nice dip in it. I've only opened this up for about a month and I have a really nice dip in it. So gel liners are my preferred way of doing any type of liner on my eyes. So I don't see myself having a problem with that. Crossing fingers, I remember to use the gel liner throughout the summer because I tend to not wear any wing liner per se in the summer, but this summer may be different. Next product is something that I did not purchase. This was part of a beauty box that I got um, earlier this year. This is the Natasha Denona Body Glow in the color light. I have no idea how this product works, how to use it. I know you put it on your body. It says shake before use. I have to Google to see if this is even going to work for me because now that I am a little bit more tan, it may not even show up on me. But my goal is to use as much of it as possible. Obviously, I cannot track my progress on this because I can't see through the bottle. I don't know how much is in here as far as how far it goes, what is it doing. I don't know anything about this. So this is completely blindfolding, blindsiding me. I have no idea what I'm going to do with this. So my goal is to at least use this up. It does sound liquidy. 
So I'm crossing my fingers it does work. If it's not going to work for me, I am just going to go ahead and declutter it. But I do want to put this in the project pan because I do, I know this is like $55 and I didn't really pay $55 for it, but I do want to get some sort of money out of it. Last but not least is something that I thought I would never, ever, ever pan, but I do want to get use out of it because it is a sentimental product. It has meaning towards, uh, I have meaning towards it. It is very expensive and I don't want it to go bad and I would hate to throw it away knowing that I didn't actually get to enjoy it. So I am pulling out my Tom Ford Skin Illuminating Powder Duo in Mood Light. So obviously it comes in this nice beautiful uh, bag. And look at the packaging, it's so pretty. I think this is the only Tom Ford besides a lipstick that I do have. So this is what the product looks like. This is completely brand new, completely brand new. I want to use of um, as much as I can of it. Now I am going to try to concentrate on the darker kind of rosy gold type of shade more because I am darker and I feel like that's going to go better with me right now. And then maybe in the fall winter, I can concentrate on this one more. But I do want to get my money's worth out of it. I did get this out of CCL. Well, I did it. Mr. Man bought me this as a gift at a CCL so I didn't pay full price but I still paid a pretty penny for it so I do want to start using it up before it goes bad before I see it hit the trash instead of actually being used on my ball today. Those are the five products that I do want to use or hit pan on or try to just work with them and see how it goes to try to redeem myself for not really hitting my goals in my spring uh, project pan. So I have two project pans going. I always tell you guys that I can do at most two. If a third one comes in, it has to be something completely out of the norm. But I'd like to just do two because I can concentrate on those products. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will link um, and list all the products that I did mention to you guys today. If they are still available, I'm not even sure if some of these are discontinued or not. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you guys in my next video. And don't forget that a smile is the best makeup a girl can wear. Bye guys.